Okay, so here we are at my 355, and we're going to get started. I'm filming this through the glass here, so it's easier to see. But we're going to get started removing these defroster screw cover caps, which our new reproductions replace. And we're going to change out these oval defroster vents. Now, these have been refinished by a competitor years ago before I was in the business. And you'll see they're pretty heavy texture on the defroster vents and uh, a little bit of texture on the caps. So I'm gonna change this out because our coating is a much nicer, smoother, more original to the soft touch. And we're gonna get started here. So we'll get in the car and we'll get some tools and we'll pop these caps first. Okay guys, we're gonna get started by removing these caps. You'll see I've already removed the one prior to starting the video. Now to do that, I modified a tool here. And I'm gonna put a link down below where you can get this tool from Amazon. But you'll see I cut off quite a bit of the handle and I put a slight little bend on here. You can do that in a vise or whatnot. And the reason you need a nice short tool is the problem you have is the windshield so you don't have a lot of room between this cap and the actual window so it's difficult to put something in there so we'll get started i'm going to go to the center one or the one on the other side whatever i can video easier and show you guys how to do this okay so you know i'm trying to go in between this area to pry it and i just the cap is too tight i can't get in there so whether i like it or not i'm going to turn the tool sideways and go in here with the little lip I've got bent up. And I'm gonna be gentle on this grate, but I'm gonna see if, I mean, that's where it snaps. I'm gonna see if I can pop it there. So I have it set here. I'm putting mild pressure on, and there, there it is. Okay, so I did just pop it up right there. I'll come in on the other side like this. I might actually have enough room now to get in here and finish it. Let me try to go back under here. See, you see I am, I am raising it, so I unsnapped it on this side. So I'll come on this side and try to unsnap it. There you go, so I got it right in there. This should do it right here. Oh, almost. I'm hitting the the froster vent here. See, I'm running out of room. Maybe if I twist this just a little bit. No. Nope. So my tool is probably even still a little bit long. I think I just popped it back. These these are tricky. These are very tricky. There we go. So see, I have it up here. Okay, so now I've created a little bit of a gap here in the front on this edge. So I might be able to come in here and finish the job. Yeah, I'm slowly getting there. You see? Okay, if I come in like this. Let me go back to the front here. Okay, see that is definitely lifting it up, but not enough. There we go. So now I've got it unsnapped on one side and I am getting the tool in so I think if I lever right here, I'll get it. There she goes. And of course it goes flying. So as you see, these are a little bit challenging to do. I'm gonna do the rest and then we're gonna take off the defroster vents. Stay tuned. Okay, so with all the caps off, we're gonna take out these flathead cap screws. It's a three millimeter Allen. There's three per defroster vent, of course. So we'll take those out and we'll pull off the vents 
and proceed to change them out. Okay, so we got off all six screws for the defroster vents. It's a very timely process because you can't get a ball of Allen wrench in there because the windshield again. So it's, you know, half a turn at a time. But here we go. Here is one of the vents. So you see that's got a very textured finish. This was done by a competitor years ago. We're going to put one of our vents in. We'll take that one out, set it down. We'll take out this top one here. Sometimes these can kind of stick in a little bit. Okay, so if you find that the, the vent is sticking to the leather, you can use this tool again and gently get between there. Very gently, see? And go around. Be careful not to scratch the leather. And just go around and give that a little pry all around to just free that up. Okay, so here we are at the bench. This is what we removed. This is a competitor, very textured finish. And this is the sticky RX finish you can see going in. So, I mean, we're talking night and day. Our finish accurately represents the factory soft touch. And it's not this heavy duty texture. So we'll get going and We'll install these okay, in the Okay, so we have the new defroster vents just laying in place, and now we got to proceed to put in the six flathead Allen screws. Again, timely process because you don't have a lot of wrench throw to turn this around. Okay, with the defroster vents now in, we're going to go ahead and install the new Sticky RX reproduction screw caps. You can see these have a beautiful finish, just like the factory soft touch. So we'll get so going. I'm going to video this again through the windshield, but here is the the reproduction cap and it's got a couple of snaps one left and one right so i'm going to put my hand through the driver's or the passenger side window and what i'm doing is you'll see i set this on here i'm hooking it on one side and then i'll simply take my finger and push it's a hard snap i'm snapping it over on this side Okay, there we go. And of course we'll wipe this down, but there's the new cap installed. We'll proceed to do the others. Okay, so I'd also like to show you how to snap these on right on the bench. So this is the defroster vent I took out. So you'll see on the back side, how uh, there's a couple little grooves here. All right, now, you know, the amount of paint on here can change how tight this is, but essentially we're just gonna hook it on like so. I'm gonna show you on the back side. So see that tab is hooked on, okay? And at that point, it'll snap very easy on. Sometimes it's a little hard, harder to do in the car and then to pop it off, of course, I just do that. We'll just go to a couple of their positions here. So you hook and then push down, snap on. Now there's another tip. If you're struggling to snap these on, it could be the amount of primer and paint, you know, that's going to vary on these. So if you look at the tabs here, okay, you can take a straight razor and X-Acto knife. Make sure you put this down on something protective. I got the foam here. Or I got this little plastic bag. I can set it on. And what you can simply do at this point is you can just shave a little bit of material off the snap tab on the back. Just cut a little bit off. Okay, I don't know if it's gonna show in the camera. So I cut a little bit off there. I might've went a little too much on that one, but if that's, you know, if you're having trouble snapping it in, you can do that. Let's see, we'll hook that in, and there it snaps much easier. That might might have been a little too much. So I would say cut a little less. Obviously I have several of these. You cut a little less off. Just, I mean, I'm talking, of, I'm talking about a very small amount here. Okay, I mean, look at the amount I cut off on my fingernail there. So if you look at this, you still got good tab left, okay? So here, we'll go to snap that on. And that makes the snap easier. I apologize for the... Okay, so we'll go to snap that on here and that makes for an easier snap. And you only need to do that if you're finding that you're struggling to put these on because of the amount of paint buildup. 
then you can certainly do that little trim and you'll be able to snap it on very easy. Okay, there we have it. So the reproduction screw cover caps are on and the sticky RX refinish defroster vents. So everything looks real good like the original soft touch finish. Thanks for watching. Again, below in this video description will be a link where to purchase these caps, as well as a link to this video and the pry tool that was used. Thank you so much.